Here we see the King of Pancras belt. And this time I'm defending it against the temporary King of Pancras, Frank Shamrock. I broke my hand in a previous fight, a uh, training accident actually, and um, I couldn't defend my title, so they made a temporary King of Pancras bout between Minoru Suzuki and Frank Shamrock and the winner was crowned the temporary King of Prankwas and he was supposed to fight me on the next event which is this one for the King of Prankwas title. I know it's all very complicated but um, rewind it and then you can hear it again. And obviously there we have Frank Shamrock. アカコナ189キロ第3大キングオブパンクラシスト。バトルテン。レフリー広尾総一。サブレフリー岡本博美ジャッジ平原正樹。There's the padding again. See if we don't have any weapons, like I said before. Maybe hit like a punch knife or something, or an, uh, an uh, God knows a toothpick. You never know. Shake hands, and that's it. Let's get ready for the fight. Ready, fight! I trained on a few things in this fight and there was like an uppercut sweep thing with the bone of my wrist and I wanted to see if it works and uh, later on we're gonna see oh okay there we go it was a nice beautiful setup I will tell you later on in the slow-mo all about it and that was a beautiful takedown Frank did a lot of talking there and laughing at me. He was in his uh, game mode. We used to do it before always. That was a good punch there to the body. Very nice. But this position with a little explosive power, you can escape. to the other side get up and knee him in the head whoa nearly missed that knee right low kick he says hey that was a right low kick I said yes it was but another right low kick I wanted to go for a knee bar, but with a guy like Frank, yep, yeah. mm -hmm. that's not going to happen because he knows, yes, he knows his things on the ground. We got the north-south position again, obviously he's been working hard on that in this fight, so he can hit me in the belly, you see, so he's going, doing a good job. I knee him in the head here, see, nice. he's talking to each other, nice, he says, I'm talking to him, now he got it back. We have these whole conversations sometimes during the fight. nice body shot and that is the liver there so he's doing a good job locking up his arm ah and there's the green light he gave me a hit in my face so that means I can hit back now Okay, you see, you hear me saying it, okay, now we both can do it, and that will make it also more easy for me, because I like to hit people in the head, obviously.
Nice control there from Frank on top. Go to the side. Knee right. Try to knee him in the head again. He's got the mount again. He's trying to go for some shots. He's making songs with it, I heard. Da, na, 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 like that. But let's see if we can reverse that tune. Hey! Please. And here we're testing each other. Left low kick. It's just to set up for something new. It was good front kick. He pushed it to the side. And there, what he said to me was, like old times, eh, boss? I remember it. Yesterday of yesterday. Oh yeah, I think now he did a thing that I thought it was really funny. Let me see. Oh no, it's gonna come up later on. He hit my ear there, as you can see, I was touching my ear. I hear like a in my ear, I had a, like a slap of my ear. That was the punch that I was training for before this fight. We will show it later on in the slow-mo. It's like an uppercut, but you don't. You slam it, you hit it with the bone of your wrist. And watch now, he's still a little dazed. Whoa, fly out of the ring. Me hitting him a couple of times in the head. So I jump in, you see Frank is still dazed there now. He gets up but falls down. I tell the referee here that he should count because I think that should count for, uh, for a knockdown. Yeah, see, that's my complaining right there. I say, hey, listen, come on, man. You got to give him an eight count or we fight. Now I'm changing the tune. I didn't like it. Whoa, very nice takedown. You see, I hit with the bone part of my palm. And that was a back fist. Yes, all allowed. And that was actually a very nice sprawl. I think it was the first good sprawl I ever had in Pancras.
Good, the fight restarts. Exactly what I wanted. You can't grab the rope, for some reason they call it an escape, and uh, I have to totally agree here with Frank, that is uh, kind of BS, but hey, it's the rules, what can you do? You see I set it up, I go for a low kick, then for a high kick, now a stroll, a knee to the head. I'm, I'm nearly going to miss this one. Oh, that was close. Here we go again. See, and now he's going to invite me to the ground. I said, no, oh, get up. I'm doing way too good on my feet. Why would I go down? Nice takedown. Here I got the full guard. Watch, watch the punch that Frank is gonna do here. I, I remember that I'm even gonna laugh about it because I couldn't believe it that he did it. Watch. <laughs> I thought, what was that? <laughs> the bitch slap, but then with the backhand. But it's all for distraction. Now in this position. I found out later that I, I could do a real good thing. I came up with the Bas Rutten toe hold move. You gotta find it in the Bas Rutten Big Book of Combat. Now watch, he's doing a toe hold on me and I'm doing one on him. And we both do the same escape. We stretch our legs and we get out. So that was pretty cool. And he goes straight again in this position. And if I would have had him in this position right now, and watch this, I'm going to aim for his cut. And I don't hit hard, I aim for his cut. And now I hit with a fist. Because I get angry, he starts sticking his tongue out to me. So I thought, hey. And look at me, acting. No, 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 it was not a fist. I'm going to get an Oscar for that. Now they give me a red card. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but this was the beginning of the end. He tries to hook me there, but it doesn't work. I go for a guillotine on his neck. I try to hit him, knee him in the head now. Fuck, the left, the right knee, that was a hit. A guillotine, and this one is full on. He slipped out, but he doesn't want to continue anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gracias,
Yeah, no, the referee told me that it was of a cut, but I saw him saying that it uh, was over a different way. Uh, anyway, it's going to be in a few seconds. I'm still apologizing there for, uh, for my uh, fist punch to the head. <laughs> still claiming it was my wrist, it was not my fist. And now, yes, the ref calls it, calls it a night. They say he cannot continue the fight. And then we will hear the bell. And the fight's over. And there is the wooden jump again, ladies and gentlemen. The second time defended, this time against Frank Shamrock. And power enough to do a kip up.キングオブパンクラシスト、バスルッテンドロン。あなたは日本武道館における第三代キングオブパンクラシスト、バスルッテン対暫定キングオブパンクラシスト、フランクシャムロックの統一王座決定戦において見事勝利を収めました。よってキ
続いてパイオニア LDC 株式会社営業本部映像販売部部長伊島清美様より副賞としてパイオニアレーザーディスクプレーヤーが贈られます。それではタイトルを統一いたしました第3代キングオブパンクラシストバス・ルッテン選手より皆様に一言ご挨拶を申し上げます皆さんこんばんは I'm very very glad that I win today again This has been a very very special week for, my, for me This week, I call my, my girlfriend in Holland and she tells me she's pregnant. She's going to have a baby from me. <laughs> so I'm going to be a daddy. And maybe, maybe over 20 years, my son fights here in Pankras. Maybe. Watashi wa ima king of Pankras is this. Domo no kono belto nagaku mamori taito moimasu. Us! えー、今日は、えー、私にとって本当に特別な日となりました、えー、昨日、えー、ガールフレンドのところに電話したところ、えーえー、自分の子供ができていることを確認できました、えー、自分の子供が二十歳になったら、えー、きっとこのパンクラスのリングの上で、えー、戦わせることを約束いたしますありがとうございました統一キングオブパンクラシストバス・ルッテン選手でした以上をもちまして、キングオブファンクラシスト認定式及びクルース日本武道館大会を終了させていただきます。Slow motion, please. One kick to the leg. Another kick to the leg. Okay, you want to kick me to the leg? Let's give you my leg and let's counter that kick. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving him my leg. I go back and kick him in the head. Total setup, ladies and gentlemen. Kick and that punch to the head. I trained so hard for the punch and it actually worked. Here, he grabs my leg and I'm starting to hit him. And as you can see, I don't hit with my inside of my hand. I hit with the bone of my wrist. So he's trying to push me forward while I'm hitting him. And there we go, both outside the ring. Beautiful. Nice there, the photographers making pictures. <laughs> It's crazy. Missed the kick, but I hit with the left back fist. I thought it would be great also to show a right knee to the head right there. Here I go for the guillotine again. Which was very tight, as I always say. It was the only thing I could do in the beginning of my career. It was so tight. He pops out, but it still hurt from the guillotine, and that's why they started to give him an eight count. <laughs> 